Hey, what's up guys? Yin Yang Dragon here. It's been a couple weeks since I have last uploaded a video of Payday 2. And I think the last one was um, about like a weapon. I, I'm pretty sure it was the AKM SU. But yeah, I did talk about where why I stopped playing it because, well, uh, I played a Cold War Zombies, well, mostly Season 2, and it was. Um, provide a lot of content and then since I reached at least level 200 and got all my challenges done for season 2 and I'm waiting for at least the mid-season update in about two more days which is going to be on March 30 which I definitely got to stream uh, the new map for it whoops I'm not sure how that happened but uh, but for now uh, I'm going to um, get back to a bit of playing Payday 2 since I did play Payday 2 uh, last night. I played a PC where I bought the two DLCs, the uh, the Smuggler Weapon Pack and the Dragon Pack. And even though the name Dragon Pack has nothing to do with me, it's just the story where it goes of this golden city or city of gold of this new series. Just like the Suck Road. So it'll be pretty interesting where they take it. But for now, I'll be doing a uh, another request video. And this one, or request build, and this is uh, requested by Tom. Um, just before I was going, um, you know, got off of playing Payday 2 on PC and then ready to go to bed, uh, got a notification from Tom. It's like, uh, and I was like, can I speak to you a moment? I was like, hey man, what's up? And I was like, are you still going to do the request builds? And I was like, even though I stopped playing Payday 2, um, requests are, are still open. And well, that's where I'm going to tell you uh, right now. So the build he's giving me is a stoic, lightweight, ballistic vest build. So of course the main perk deck is going to be stoic. And of course our skills, I'll just go over very quickly. So of course, for any stoic build, it's always must have a first aid kits. And of course, Joker skills and Hunter's Taker. Uh, he only had Inspire Basic, which is understandable. He could probably, he would save those 8 skill points for something else. So it's, I would give it a, of course, I'll have it a go. And he doesn't have Ace of the Joker because, well, the whole increased time to convert one and dealing damage it's probably not really much of a difference but I still like to pick it because well it just helps that I can get um, able to get a joker much faster in a heated moment and of course it's all about ICTB so I get um, get all the at least all the all free ace of these skills and to unlock Iron Man basic so get way more armor along with the uh, lightweight ballistic vest. Um, in Tactician, normally I would never have hardware expert basic, but I think there is two purpose for this. Of course, one is to able to fix the drill or saw faster, and it's very quiet, so hearing is very important to have, especially when I hear the uh, like a car engine running of a cloaker's headgear or radio chatter from other enemies like a taser or a bulldozer. And of course, uh, for the oppressors, uh, of course, all the skill, just basically the main ones for the full auto weapons and lock and load basic because since we have the speed pull mag on our weapon, uh, we don't really need it. For ghosts, just a few speed skills. more consuming and of course I have low blow A's because um, because our detection was going to be at 23 and normally I never go for I never really have a weapon to reach 23 detection risk I usually have it much lower than 23 but if I'm I don't know if this is right or wrong but 
If you're able to have low blow ace with a 23 detection risk, and you have low blow ace, do you get like a big better chance to get more crits, just like you do if you have just low blow basic with a 3 or 4 detection risk? Because I really never experienced with it, or never really experimented with it. And of course I go for 9 lives ace because, well, playing DSOD, you gotta have 9 lives ace. Now, as for um, the weapon of choice, I he suggested is the AK rifle, or the AKS-74, I like to call it. So by the stats of it, this is mainly focused for crits, but we do buff and other stats. So I'll go over the attachments. Uh, we have the modern barrel, the stubby compensator, a consumer boost, auto fire, crabs rail, compact laser module, AK rubber grip, speed pull mag, no sight, and of course the folding stock. Now for my secondary, it's gotta be the Arbiter Grenade Launcher or also known as the XM25. And for this, I have the Bombardier Barrel, a Consuming Boost, and the Compact Laser Module. So these are useful for dealing with shields, armor, like from dozers and SWAT turret, course meant to be a very versatility build which I like I like how weapons have will perform um, different strength over the other so that's why you should make up for their strength over the other weapons cons of course um, our armor choice is a lightweight ballistic vest first aid kits for equipment now let me switch it as I did a little mistake because I did try this out in counterfeit and I forgot to switch it because this was mainly just a no build just to test out the weapon and do my weapon guides with. Of course our throwable will be the stoic hip flask. Now I know he didn't mention anything for the AI loadout but these are the one I mostly just picked. It's always the same ones I always have except for I always change this one uh, for the third boost I have. So I picked reinforcer for having a little bit more health. Now there's really no point to run this as a stoic because you only get basically 30 health since your armor has been converted into health. So reinforcer just doubles the health. But you can always can try either for healer, concealer, if you want a little bit more crits or a little bit more chance for lower risk or have a little bit more health regen but I'm pretty sure Hoshi Taker has got you covered. So yep, uh, that's the, the build. Now let's see it in action. And also for request for the heist to be played, uh, he chose uh, Framing Frame Day 3. And considering I don't really play much of it um, during my uh, builds or showing off the build, Mainly just because I just can't, couldn't be bothered to do day one and two, just to get to day three. Right. And of course, he would love to play this heist uh, as a standalone. You know what? I, I don't blame him. So anyway, the uh, the stoic light blood, uh, lightweight ballistic vest build. Normally, I have never really used. Try to find a key card as I go. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, the lightweight blitz vest. Uh, normally when I run a stoic build, 
Um, I would have had either a two-piece suit or a ICTB. We'll get you eventually. Uh, just because I either prefer speed or more tank, and I got the wrong one. But, uh... But I'll never have with the lightweight ballistic vest, because you probably did have to invest a little bit more skill points into it. No but, I do, but the lightweight ballistic vest can be very powerful if you're playing on the console version. Where you get 30 more armor, as opposed to whatever the armor you get. And as for the weapon of choice, uh, he picked for me is because, well, since this weapon is the AK rifle, is very underrated rifle. Uh, due to the, uh, uh, it's supposed to get outclassed by a few guns like the M4A1 or the AK5. Mostly the AK-5 because that's a higher rate of fire. This one only shoots... Uh, 50... Uh, basically, uh, less than 50 rate of fire. So this shoots like close to 650 RPM. While the AK-5 shoots around like 700 RPM. So it does shoot a little bit faster, but to make up for it, uh, the AKS-94 has at least one point of concealment make up for it. And of course, I do like the iron sights on these weapons. They're really good. S especially if you don't have a suppressor because that mental flash can help me in dark spaces. And of course, the uh... The XM25 for dealing with shields in crowd in close quarters like this. Inside that the whole time, ready to get some fresh air. 
Just like the, the dozers hidden in train cars and uh, train heists. Oh, I hear a dozer. Of course, use this to shred the armor. Okay, that's a green dozer. I don't feel s safe with you, except you can't hit me. So I actually feel a lot safer. And what also helps with this weapon is the recoil is very manageable. So it's a lot better. about using the stoic build is that I can't use my uh, concussion grenade. Well, technically you can still use the concussion grenade on a stoic perk deck, but you lose the main ability of the perk deck itself, and it's the flask. Flashlight, but oh no, that was an LMG dozer. And Meg killing you for walls. I mean, I can't really complain about that, considering that we can just shout our teammates to get off the ground from some of the walls as well. And that's a medic dozer. to notice is anytime you fire your weapon during um, in combat and you try to use your throwable uh, key button for example um, it will not work you actually have to stop firing for it to work so just a little bit of a reminder Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god that medic dozer did not try to heal the other one. Okay, even though it may look like I'm missing a lot, I always like to pre-fire a lot so that way I can at least get a chance to hit the enemy. After all, um... The cooldown for the Stoic does get faster, much faster, if you keep getting kills. Alright, that's a minigun noser. Dozer! Ah, shit. Okay, I wanna see how this weapon would do against a Dozer with double health. Shot from. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm forgetting. I need jokers. Oh wait, they died already. Yeah, the guards don't last out. That's why. Ah, that's why my health is not regenerating. They already die. All right, now that should be health regenerating now. 
I'll just take a bullet. Much more faster than just trying to use a buzzer. Especially when you have to deal with the uh, the emanation when it gets done. Definitely around here. Oh, come on, aim assist. Oh, good, that's a medic dozer. You know, it's kind of funny I can able to go to a dozer like that, but I just can't on console, but I can't do the same on PC. It's just way different. For the different reasons. Oh, that's green one. As long as they're separated, it's no big deal. I swear I heard an Ardozer. Yep, there I seen it. so good I mean the weapon is definitely good but it's just just underrated because just better weapons and mostly newer weapons like newer rifles are just slightly better like you got the F2000 and the TAR-21 which are of course exclusive to PC and won't 
make his way to console. Not like three dozers at a time, but I do see a lot of medic dozers compared than the rest of the other variants combined. Alright, about a minute left. And here we go again. Yeah, if I would love to get this weapon a little bit of a buff is at least give its damage a little bit more increase to uh, at least a 72 or 73 damage just like the uh, the new SMG they added in a smuggler pack I know it's called the AK Gen 12 but the actual name of the weapon is the PP19 uh, V Yachts Just like a Russian SMG, it's like an AK and an MP5 together. Just in case that taser messed me up. I saw him reloading like a two fed shotgun. a very versatility weapon. If I didn't say there's any downsides to it in terms of either the weapon choice or just the build itself, it is you definitely want to be at least in close quarters for the most part. This is where you do the most strength and try to fight enemy at long range like using this Ray K rifle to deal with a sniper. It's definitely going to be a struggle. Wait, how did I kill that shield? He had... I... He was like in front of me. Where's oh, up there. Well, that's the only thing I could say about it. But, other way, other than that, I think it's just a solid build. I don't think there's any downside. I guess it's the elephant and his party are very pleased. Hell of a plan B, folks. Um, I would say would be um just don't forget getting jokers because I literally did it after two of my guards were killed. Poor and none the wiser. Well done. Uh That's pretty much I would say about the downside. Just don't forget to get jokers. And I hate that when that happens because 
I had a build with Joker skills, and well, I did have it with my uh, Crook build you know, of Huxton to Crook, and I forgot the main, the main ingredient, and that is converting to Jokers. I can't believe it. I don't know how I forgot about it. I just really don't use a skill outside of Stoic and maybe a few areas with it as much with these. Either with Stoic or during Holdout. It's just... I don't know, I just... It, my brain doesn't click it at the moment. Or, or unless someone else tells me or says, Hey, anyone needs Jokers? Like, okay, let me see. And... That would probably be my best guess. Now, if I had to change certain perks or skills, I would say it really depends on what you're playing with. With who or with. So I was playing with AI and so far, not none of the AI or me went down. Even though they were got close by, um, kicked by a cloaker, they still kill it off with no problem. I still survive no problem since I know how stoic works. But just in case if I want to have something else, uh, just in case I want to either in inner pocket A so I have more consuming, I would probably would get rid of a, um, body expertise ace and just give it and pour it into here. And as for the the extra four point spare. I guess I could put it here, since I have no clue where to put it. Or other than that, the four point, you could just put it for something else. I don't really need stability because uh, it has already max stability. Maybe I could go for this and get a little bit more ammo pickup. But other than that, it or if you, uh, well, fancy more of a team player build and you want to, um, you can have Inspire Ace if you play with teammates that are going down quite a lot and they're just really sick of tired using Inspire Ace. But other than that, uh, there's nothing really wrong with uh, any choices uh, of the perks or the skills that Tom chooses. It's pretty good. Now, do I see myself running this build uh, quite often? It really depends. I mean, it's probably due to the fact that the I have a similar stoic build which I already had. It's mostly this one. You know, since I still get the same speed, since I'm not slow with it, and it's mostly the same same style too. Except I have Joker's Ace, I have the Inspire Ace. I had a few of these. I don't have the extra armor. Same oppressor uh, skills, except I don't have the drill skill basic. And since I have a lower detection rate, I go for these, so I have better stat performance for my weapon, so I have a higher accuracy and stability. So it's almost literally the same build I have, except I just run a two-piece suit and using uh, a few different weapons. Of course, mainly rocking the M car and a few others. So I increase more sound overall, so I can actually hit my targets a lot more. Have a better detection risk, but... Uh, this is definitely a little more different. And I could definitely see he... Really... I wouldn't say exploit, but definitely taking the advantage of the 23 detection risk with low blow ace. Now, if there were ever the new weapons on PC ever coming to console, I think this build would be a lot better. But I do appreciate him offer at least showing show off the the AK rifle or the AKS74 because it's just not used as much compared to the rest of his peers. But. At least I uh, give it some love, and uh, that's pretty much it about the build. Nothing else to talk about. 
but uh, yeah, thank you for watching everyone, and thank you Tom for the um, for the build. And until next time, I'll be actually giving you a little bit of an update regarding to well, regarding to my the, well the um, future videos for Payday 2 on this channel. Until then, farewell, and have a wonderful day everyone.